Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel, the Shotgun Shogun, and this is another account review. And today we're going over Lost Zion's account. Now, one of the things that he is looking for is that he's a, uh, a mid-game player, right? He's having a hard time with the new Hunt 13s and some of the 12s. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at his account. We're going to go over what he has, kind of put some teams together, take a look at his overall hero inventory, and kind of give him an idea of where to go from here now first off let's take a look right now at what he has in here for teams this is a big thing i'm gonna see if they're named as well okay let's see wyvern um what do we got here so we got tywin cigarette a momo and furious um i don't think that that is a very good overall team especially if you're going to try to transition into wyvern 12 or wyvern 13 tywin is okay but tywin's not really the tank that you are here looking for uh, we're going to take a look here at banshee team are we trying to run a one turn um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, let's let's see what we have available for characters here first off. Let's see what we got to work with. Um, all right, coming in here. We got this is the second time we've had a plus ten Ravi uh, right at the uh, right at the beginning. I love it. I'm I'm loving the Ravi love. Actually, you know what? This might not be the best way to to work on this team we're gonna go through here we're gonna take a look at my staple characters and then we'll see what level what level they are i literally just went into the same exact thing that i i just went into that is a that is a thing that i did right there uh okay so we're gonna get back onto onto wyvern team here let's take a look at what what water what water you have okay so sigrid's still gonna be good i uh, got a plus 14 alexa honestly we're gonna put a plus 14 alexa in here um yeah that's that'll end up being fairly good uh now you do have a, an angelica but let's see if you've got let's see if you've got him do you have yourself a pergus no 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 general no general purgus. I am under the right thing, right? Ah, uh, yes, all, all of the. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, right? We're gonna come back to water. Uh, we do have an Angelica. Do we have a a Crow? Did I miss him? No. Uh, nope. No Crow. Okay, so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put Angelica in here, right? Okay, so this is going to be a pretty solid overall team. Um, you're going to have your debuffs. You're going to have your increased critical hit chance and all of that good stuff. You're also going to have your furious buff. You're going to have a bunch of good things with that now your alexa here is actually not too bad we do need to increase the overall crit damage though especially if we're going to be using alexa in um in wyvern because honestly i think that alexa is one of the strongest units for wyvern 13 that's out there now you're going to want to switch your junkyard dog to a daydream joker for cigarette let's take a look at how many daydream jokers that you have first up uh do 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 go down here to the bottom oh we're, we're sorted by class uh let's do grade okay so we got three daydream jokers you want to you're gonna want to max those out that's gonna really increase your overall speed so max day ddjs at least two of them and I would say that's honestly priority right there, especially if you're looking for hunts, right? Because you're going to want to run two to three D Dream Jokers on everybody. That's just kind of how that goes. Let's take a look at your Furious here. Um, okay, so you got this in that skill. You're going to have your defense break. You're going to want to finish that out. You're going to finish out Fatal Bullet uh, to get that extra defense break on that. So... 
Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be your priority right there. Max uh actually plus six Furious S3. And you'll also want to, instead of um Infinity Basket, you will want to run a let's see what we've got here for you're gonna want to put Song of Stars on him, honestly. Uh, that would be that would be your best bet. That way, you also have the chance to put target up to do more damage. Um, let's take a look at this Angelica. So first, she's not built. Um, we're going to want to slap a. Uh, we're done by this. Okay, we're gonna go back up here to see what we got. So Stella Harpa is not gonna be worth. Um, you will want to, if you have a Proof of Valor, actually, um, I would suggest Proof of Valor on her. Uh, let's go down here to where Proof would be. Proof, did I pass it? I probably did. Proof is up here, isn't it? Proof... Okay, Proof of Valor. You've got it on Mig Chloe, and she's level 50. I would suggest moving that over to your Angelica. Now, uh, you are going to want to make sure that she gets she gets extra thick. So we're going to take a look at some of her gear options here. Um, let's go with speed and health. Um, we're going to want some we're going to want some thick stats, right? So this would be good. Um, let's see, this, your main Chloe's level 50 right now, I wouldn't worry too much about, um, having her in stuff. Actually, we'll do this because we're gonna, you're gonna want to change your Tywin out, right? So that's gonna be, that's gonna be real big on moving that gear over. We're gonna take this off of Kawarik. Uh, let's go with some HP main stat right side. Um, we can take this. Uh, that's effectiveness. We don't really need effectiveness too much. Um, if we're looking for this plus some defense. Um, this is good on a Momo, but if you're not too worried about it, he said he's not too worried about PvP, right? So I think that this is probably going to be your best bet right here. So as we get these up more, you are going to want to have some speed or she's just never going to get a chance to move forward. Um, so that's going to be real important. Also, we've got three piece, three piece HP here. So that's probably not going to benefit us much. Um, let's see what we can get in sub health. Uh, these are 70 boots. Um, that's not great. Uh, I would say... Uh, let's. I guess let's just take this off. Um, I would say one of your priorities right now should be getting some of the 85 speed speed boots. Those are going to be very, very important for just about everybody. Um, let's see what we've got in HP speed. Uh, we've got this. This isn't bad. Uh, this is okay. Um, this is going to put you to 166 speed. Actually, I think we can get, we, we need to get faster. Um, so we're going to do substat speed, substat health, um, defense health, 12 speed. That's going to be good. Uh, that's going to get your speed up. That's going to get your stats up. Your HP and your defense are looking pretty thick right now. Um, and that is going to be very important. Since you're not really worried too much about PvP, Rwanda's not going to be too super, super important, right? Easy. So I think overall this is going to be really a good setup. This should help you out quite a bit. Um, you're going to be thick enough to take the hits. You're going to be quick enough to actually get some heals off. Um, this is going to be important. So for Angelica... Put uh, Angelica, put her on proof plus 
stats shown in video. I don't want to move your stuff around because if you need to make a gold or whatever, then do that. Um, I would, like I said, that's what I would put for your main attack, right? So Furious is Furious is pretty good right here. Um, you would need a little bit more effectiveness on this, but overall I think that he'll be fine. Um, Alexa, you can drop some of this effectiveness. Um, you're going to want to get 85%, or actually you won't need 85% because Furious's uh, S2 will increase your critical hit chance. So you can actually do this, but I would reduce your attack, your overall attack for a little bit more speed and more critical hit damage. Not only that, I would switch the portrait out for a Daydream Joker. Uh, Cigarette is pretty slow. Um, you don't actually need as much attack. Uh, put her on a Daydream Joker as well. One of the big things that you're going to want to look at when you're moving forward is Daydream Joker, especially for hunts, because the amount of damage that it brings to the table over things like junkyard dog like portrait which may the portrait may have been better in some of the previous hunts but once you move to th uh hunts 13 where the hp pool of the bosses is much much higher daydream joker is going to be bringing a lot more damage and it stacks a lot better with the critical hit damage now you have the uh Inflict Bleed by Sever, I would actually move to the one that triggers her S2 on 75% uh, health instead of 50% health. That's going to be your better one in this. So I think if you work on those options right there, that's going to be probably your best bet for your Wyvern 12 moving into your Wyvern 13 team. Uh, it's going to be very, very strong. You could also additionally put Seaside Bell in there um, in place of maybe Furious, but I think Furious is going to do very well for you in that team so let's move so we moved all of your units in here this is this is the the optimal team in my opinion uh for that now for Gollum, uh i see you put rowana in a lot of things i don't think that she's necessarily the best option here especially for Gollum. um your better options are gonna be soul bad guy um let's see we'll just do all fire soul bad guy tamron and i would i would even say uh adventure ross is gonna be good now this isn't gonna be the fastest team by any means but you're going to be very safe. You're going to have uh, defense break. You're going to have defense increase. You're going to have soul bad guy who should be also on a daydream joker. If if and when you are going to be doing Gollum 13. Um, and overall, this is going to be a very, very strong team. Now, you could also um, put a Sermia in there if you plus six or if you six star and gear out your Sermia but I do think that this is going to be an overall good team Lydica is not going to make much of a difference because you can't CR manipulate the you can't CR manipulate Gollum so that's going to really just not benefit you much at all so that is that's my suggestion for your golem team now for banshee i don't feel like you have the gear at the moment for the gear or the units at the moment in order to do a proper one shot team um we're gonna go by grade let's put your grass units in here um actually that's not true so you do so you could uh biken's gonna be a lot easier in terms of how much overall um how much overall gear you have to put on her in order to one shot with or without a bleed um so this is going to be real big and do moving forward there now you don't have a defense breaker on this team which is very important so we're going to look at this shadow rose 
Now, Shadow Rose is really good because Shadow Rose can not only help you with the first wave, but she can also defense into the second wave, which is then going to make Baiken lead up and then go from there. Now, for the third one, you need a, a secondary cleaver, um, and I would actually suggest Charles, who you already have. Now, you are going to need to tune this, and I would suggest waiting until a free unequip weekend just because one of the big things with banshee is that you have to do enough damage so that your one shotter can one shot but you need to do um not enough damage to split in the first phase and charles has a rough time at that now in terms of um your let's see so this is wyvern 13 for b 13 your turn order should go uh, turn order vivian s rose charles clear first wave after that you're good to go on everything afterwards um, but you're going to want to make sure that you have enough effectiveness on the shadow rose but also enough damage to help charles clear the second wave or the first wave because um, sometimes it's not enough to to clear both of them, um, so I think that that's gonna be that's gonna be your best bet. Now for I'm gonna assume that this is for a thirteen, um, in which case my best suggestion here is a falconer query, a Vivian, because uh, Vivian helps a lot with killing the ads. Uh, and a and Tamron Falconer Corey is going to help you with shre uh, shredding the buffs. Your Seaside Bell is going to do Seaside Bell things. Your Vivian, you, you'll want to, when you start farming A13, you're going to want to build her for very high damage and just dumpster things. Uh, she's very, very good here. I also didn't see if you had... Vildred. Actually, you've got a plus 11 Vildred. 11, uh, 11 Vildred is actually really, really good here as well. Um, you do have double defense breakers in the Seaside Bell and the Falconer Quarry. Um, so this overall, I feel like, is going to probably be your better bet. That way, too, you can leave your Vivian gear however however you need it and you're not really like siphoning gear from one haunt to the other. But honestly, this is going to be a really strong team comp obviously you're going to want to look at your stats and things like that um, one of the problems that i have with this with running seaside bell seaside bell is super good but seaside bell when you run her in hunts oftentimes you're going to want to run daydream joker and if you run if you have a rengar's drink you're going to be swapping things on and off you're going to want to have 65 percent effectiveness but maybe in pvp you don't so it's a little tough um, to do that overall now you can just build a high dps vivian and then vivian can take the place of the seaside bell um, but that is really up to you so those are the teams that i would suggest based on the units that you have now the gear overall like i mentioned you're going to want to take a look at that move some stuff around um, your first team your wyvern team is really going to be focused on the as much critical hit damage and daydream joker levels that you can get on to cigarette and alexa those are going to be very very huge on that so you're going to want to make sure that you focus on those right there for the likes of like b13 a13 things like that i think that you should really just focus on wyvern get your wyvern gear down get your speed crit so that way you can move into b13 honestly that's the second one that i usually go to um or if you find yourself having a little bit easier time at a13 that's actually not bad because then you can build rage sets um, things like that but I'm gonna take a look at your units and go over some of the ones that you what you should six star what you should work on who is really good for things now I know that you can um, you said that you are able to just basically AFK your normal raid actually let me take a look here at look at look at that so let me look at your raid team real quick 
um, and then give you some suggestions. Now, the nice thing is that with Hell Raid, right, you after you get to it and after you kill it the first time, you can then teleport behind it, which greatly reduces the amount of morale that you have to bring to the team. Um, okay, so none of these are marked for raids. Um, so I don't know which one is your raid team. So we're going to take team nine and I'm going to show you the team that I typically run for my raids. So we've got a Momo, we've got DN. Um, we will bring Commander Lorena and... You don't have a Luluka. Okay, so those are the three that I typically bring, and then I would have to look at who else would fit good into the morale team here. Let me actually just take a look at that real quick. I'll bring it up on my other screen while I take a look at some of your other options here. So camping simulator is very very op op so angelic mont uh the nice thing here is you have buffs you have diva or you have buffs you have heals and you also have really good ramp up damage um in the commander arena commander arena very underrated uh unit now okay so commander arena is on here let's look at all of our options so you could put in um do 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 let's see because i do okay that brings 43 so if you use this team along with the alexa no you want defense break though so you don't have you don't have defense breaks. So actually what you can do is for 45 morale points, you can also bring Adventurer Ross. That's going to provide you with the double up. That's going to provide you with defense buff. That's going to provide you with debuff immunity to both you and Commando Arena because that's going to be who you're going to be double attacking with. You have buff strip in Adventure Ross. This is also going to get you 45 morale. So this is going to be real huge for um, clearing as much stuff as humanly possible also it's a very strong team right this team can be brought against uh Karakonis because you have uh you can hold on to the ross s3 for when he goes stealth you don't have to use it uh this is good against the likes of arakan um this would be good against um, this would potentially be good against Queen. That's the problem with Hell Raid is every boss requires kind of a different setup, right? Uh, this would actually be okay-ish against Julieve Council uh, in terms of single target burning things down because you do have enough heals in that will help you through the second phase of that one. Uh, that one is pretty tough. So one of the big things is just getting there and clearing it the first time. Um, and then afterwards you can bring a lot more stronger units, but this is what I would suggest for a start, especially for left and right side. This is going to be a strong ish team. Um, and then I would go through the camping simulator, pick some of your stronger units, uh, look at the gimmicks of the unit, uh, cause Vera is going to be strong council strong and queen is also strong, but I believe that queen is kind of easily, easily dunked on by a team with Rowana because you have that. But honestly, I think that really just kind of focus on your, on your gear. Like I noticed overall, like when I was looking at your, um, your boots, right? You don't have a ton of, uh, high level gear. And I think that that's one of the big things that you should probably kind of look at like getting your reforged stuff getting your gear leveled up i mean you've got pieces that are like at plus 14 you should focus on getting those to 15 before you you know before you move forward um and always use like because right here you know who knows that last one could go into critical hit damage right 
um, this one you could go into more health or you know more crit chance it's might maybe effect resist probably effect resist but I do notice you got a lot of like plus 13 plus 14 plus 11s um, in my opinion it's better to kind of focus on something if it does have good stats take it to you know 15 or wherever you wherever the fork in the road is that you are going to just decide the piece of gear is is hot duty right um and go from there so i think that that raid team is good focus on that get that plus six uh get all of these plus uh, to six star and work on their gear uh these are all very strong units um i wouldn't worry so much about like regearing angelic mont like take gear away from her if it requires for your um for your wife and 13 team right i think that that's going to be your your main focus now i'm going to take a look at some of your units here on who to six star who to six star next um so first off uh who to six star uh Kron. Willius, and I'll move these around in terms of order of importance. Um, made Chloe adventurous. Uh, da, 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 da. Now you don't have to plus uh, six star Basar. But it is, it's, it's a good idea. Um, uh, F. Clurry. Who else do we have down here? Um, I would say DJ Basar, but I feel like you got to have some pretty good gear for DJ Basar to do uh, what he does best. Um, Assassin Kali is going to be really strong for you. Assassin Kali. Um, a lot of the Assassin Kali's that I run into just are very, very mean. Uh, they're very mean units. Um, Blue Rose is actually really good. Uh, Blue Rose. You also have Fire Tenebria. She is good for locking things down. You already have some Molagoras into her, so that's not a bad idea anyways. Um, ML Rin, I feel like is a very, has a very high gear requirement. Uh, Destina is plus 11. So, uh, I feel like you should take it the rest of the way and just make her, make her six stars at some point. Um, Kron probably should be your focus though. Uh, let's take a look at your four stars to work on. Um, let's see if you see if you have anybody that is like popping out that just says, "Hey, I need to I need to be leveled up." Um, I don't really see too much other than like that C Armin down there, um, and I feel like that's not a huge priority right this second. Um, so those are so those are the units. So I would say um, you would want to six star Kron first. He's very very strong. Then Destina because she's plus eleven. Um, F Clurry because she's very very oppressive. Then Lilius, um, and then the rest as you see fit and whatever order you want. Uh, but those are the ones I think that you should probably focus your priority on. Um, yeah, that's that's probably where you should be, where you should be looking uh, on all of those things. That is uh, in Commander Arena, obviously, because of your raid team. Uh, Com Arena. Obviously, anything that I put in teams, I think that you know you should probably work on as well, because uh, those are very very important units. Uh, so let's see what else do we have here. So I think that that kind of covers a lot of the the concern and the help that you need with like your hunts, right? Uh, these are going to be very good, strong teams. Uh, this one, if you put it together, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be a very, very strong team. 
um, and I would focus on doing that. Now, I notice you only have like 4 million gold. Honestly, you might want to just wait until the next free unequip to move all that stuff around. Maybe do what you're doing now on the Hunt 11s. Just wait until you work up to that. Get the free unequip. Move everything around like I told you. And then um, that way you're saving money, right? Because if you move everything around right this second, you're going to have probably no gold. Uh, and I would not want that. But this is going to be what you're wanting to do for your future your future lineups uh just focus wyvern at the moment because you're going to need the speed uh the speed crit gear well you're not going to need the speed crit gear on bike end but uh, you are going to need the crit gear um on that and then some of the speed gear on the other two and then just go from there keep doing your normal raids um try your hell raids after you get that normal raid done because i was able to use that team for both left and right hand side before they opened everything else back up um, those work very well uh and then go from there uh hopefully this did help out a bit uh i think that yeah once you get once you get that done we can do another one in the future see where things are from there but i think this should give you a good jump start uh i know you don't have a whole lot it's of uh oh you already did boy you oh, already gee. did buy the mola okay i i wouldn't buy these mystic metals though because those are kind of a scam sometimes um yes anyways i hope that this did help uh if you guys like this type of content if this does help you out as well hit the subscribe button smash the bell notification um join the discord i got a lot of stuff linked down in the in the bottom patreon things like that i know a lot of people are going to ask hey how do i get in on these uh usually just hit me up in discord uh, and i'll see if i have space on my when i'm free i usually do these like when i have a free night or something along those lines but uh you know if you did find this helpful if you are in a similar place you know i hope that you know you did glean some information off of this but anyways with that guys i'm shotgun shogun and i will catch you on the next one take it easy homies peace Thank you.